<laughs> this is awesome. Yeah. I love it. So this is home sweet home, right Jason? Home sweet home, I make this turn every day. <laughs> I love it. Okay, very excited. I've been here a couple of times now. This is my boy Jason from uh, Earthworks and this is your operation. How long have you been here now? So I've been here for about 14 years. Um, Earthworks has been in place for about almost 30, actually April this year will be 30 years. Okay, and you bought in how many years ago? I bought in uh, six years ago. Okay, so I'm very proud of him. You were the passionate guy behind water features here. Correct, yeah. 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 I did it on the side actually before. Um, Doug and Mark wanted nothing to do with it. Yeah. Um, did it on the side um, and now they've fully embraced it. They saw how, That's how right. awesome this stuff It's was. so fun. Yeah. Very proud of him because he's been coming to Pandemonium for 10 years. We talked about it. You actually went back to the owner, submitted a proposal. Yep. You guys worked it out so you're a third owner of this place now. Correct. And uh, you're really the pond champion, the pond specialist. Earthworks has been around for how long? Almost 30. 30 April years. And you've, April been here, 30. and you've been here half the time, 14 years. Almost, yep. And you've been an owner for the last? About seven. seven six. six, seven years. I'm going to let Jason show us his operation in here. So this is the retail. We're going to walk into the retail right now, right? right? And it's yep. just kind of a showroom, kind of get people inspired. Okay, yeah, give us, give us a tour, buddy. This is kind of our new display. We're, uh, we're coming in, we're doing a lot of uh, pallet board stuff. So we're gonna oh, turn- Oh, beautiful, we're yeah. We're gonna turn the entire inside of the nursery into like a village. And that's just kind of the start of it right there. It's the a nice, like a theme, like almost like a trade show theme. Correct. Are you a cat guy? I am a cat guy. <laughs> this big marine right here is a cat guy. Aww. Been for 11 years now. So the customers get to know her pretty well, huh? Oh, yeah, very well. <laughs> so this is Mike. How you doing? Okay, nice and early for you. Oh, dude, I've been here. Okay, well we already we already did our workout, right, buddy? Okay, you get your workout in this morning, or did you change diapers? I'm about to. <laughs> are you are you looking busy? Or are you really busy? I'm really busy. I'm always busy. <laughs> and that's the guy that's in charge of all the wood product. He's the uh, the crazy behind the uh, design. I like the beard, Carl. Oh, yeah. How about yeah. this section? Did you see how that curls up like that? That's impressive. Isn't that sweet? That's impressive. That's what the girls like, right? Yeah. <laughs> Mike, did you hear that? That's what the girls like. <laughs> so the pond department's in transition right now, but we've got, um, we actually are starting to supply a lot of uh, contractors in town. So we've got um, lots of stuff on the shelf. I like, I like seeing all the aquascape. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's, there's multiple rows. You get a couple more rows here. We separate out the palms. We separate out the, all the, all the contractor stuff goes up top because we use it so much. It goes in, goes out so quickly. Right, this is kind of where you have your demo so you can actually show people how a skimmer works, for yeah. instance. First one of these that I made was out of a garbage can. So we've come a long way, baby. You've got your basket that catches all the debris. Mm -hmm. That skims through the pond. And you got your face plate that you attach a liner. Front of your skimmer. Yep. And then you'd have a filter pad media in here. It's not in here right now. Yep. And then your pump would go in here with your check valve. What's the other hole for? The other hole's for overflow or another pump. That's right. And what's nice about this, these skimmers is that it has an adjustable weir so you can actually move the water level up or down based off of how you want it, it to look. Exactly. We got our biofalls, the first biofalls. This thing right here was made out of a rubber made cattle trough. So most of our back end um, happens upstairs. So everything downstairs is more retail, um, incoming calls, things like that. And then everything that happens, happens upstairs. Love the reclaimed wood. Yeah, yeah. So actually, none of this existed a year ago. So everything is up here. Um, actually, this was completely open from the garden center perspective. You could see this. We mm -hmm. only had this one office up here. So we then built this just because of growth. This office is already maxed out. Um, this is basically, our um, landscape assistant, billing, things like that. So mm -hmm. all, the, all the important stuff happens here. Okay, then we've got uh, our design team. This is the design room here. Oh, I like the little noise. tank. I like the little placostomus yeah. in there. Yeah, she's got a little pleco. Oh, there's a turtle! <laughs> yes! I like turtles. We've actually found both of these guys on job sites. Yeah, a little red ear. Yep. A little red ear slide. Let me see him. Aww. Look at this guy. How could you not like turtles? That is a beautiful turtle. Okay, I guess there's an operation up here too, so you gotta tell me about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so I mean, this is the design room. We have our, our uh, two architects, one designer, um, marketing team, and sales guy that kind of share all this workspace. Okay, very nice. So where's your office? This is just a landscape, not maintenance. Um, 
not uh, a lot of our service. This is just our landscape crews. I love change. how you have their pictures there. Yeah. That is really, really cool. Yeah, gotta keep it fun. The guys get to create whatever. Make sure you point out Michael and his weird porno stash. That's <laughs> Very creepy. This is our dingo machine, our mini cat. We got the big cat. Oh, that's cat. very clever. Basically, this is the projects then? What's yeah, coming up? Job's coming up. So, mm -hmm. this is next week, the week after that. We kind of somewhat forecast three weeks out, but you know how it is. It's yep. life. Things change all the time. So, explain to me. Okay, this is the William build. That's cool. So, we actually, this is the very first build that we built for uh, William Glass. He was a 13-year-old kid that built his own pond, and we came in and say what we tell him what we did. You actually called me out of the blue. Never yeah. really talked to you personally except at uh, Pondemonium, yeah. and uh, asked if we had the capability to come help you guys build this amazing project and a surprise yeah. for William Glass because he's he's a hobbyist at heart when it comes yeah. to ponds. This was a very special build. Um, because we surprised him. It was a backyard makeover. We got lights so out there at night. Time, and yeah. yeah, that was just a phenomenal opportunity. And that was actually Discovery Channel paid for that build because they were trying to work with our show. Here's the crew. Here's Pondemonium. Yeah. All the different Pondemoniums. Hey, where you at, buddy? Point, point yourself out. Somewhere back in right, the Right, good. At least you stay way in the back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very yeah. cool. And my favorite is the Wall of Shame, where we have uh, most of the Wall of Shame, actually, a lot of them come actually from Oxcape and being hung over and such. <laughs> <laughs> That's great, but it shows, you the, it shows you the personality of this place. I love it. I'm sure this grabs some people's attention in here, huh? Oh, it grabs a lot yeah. of people's With the fogger? Yeah, the kids it's love it. it. It's a fountain of youth. If you put both your feet in there, you, you'll live a very long time. I, you, you warned me about this guy, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Try it. So you guys are doing a great job keeping this place neat, clean, organized. Every time I'm here, it's nicer. Okay, so this is the back end of the operations. Yep. So this is the design build portion. You also have a maintenance division that Correct. works out of here too, right? Yep. Yep. How many people work here? Uh, right now it's about 45-ish, um, about 50. It'll be, it'll be definitely be 55 um, come springtime. The front half of the, or the front two acres of this is mainly all retail and we utilize some of it. Like you can see over here with the trucks, they get kind of squeezed in over the weekend. Um, I love the Azuzus. Yeah, we right now currently have 16 vehicles. This is such an impressive facility. I mean, just sitting here looking at the, you got everything, everything's got its place, huh? Yes, everything has its place. Um, it's a muddy mess because of how much rain we've been getting this last week. Cold and rain. You guys can keep that up in Chicago, by the way. Um, <laughs> So it's a hot mess back here, but it's basically our, our, our stomping ground back here. So we keep all of our pavers, our rock, um, all that stuff. We have metal containers where we keep most of our, you know, more important things in there. So, yeah, yeah, this is extremely impressive. All right. So I'm not just saying that, but um, every time I come here, it looks better and better. We try to make it that way. Right. So it's all Michael, right? It's all Mike. It's me. I'm the deciding factor. <laughs> yeah. Great job, guys. Very, very very impressive operations and it's lit up at night like a christmas tree i bet oh, yeah, yep. everybody can see your place i don't know why every business wouldn't have a waterfall in front of them right exactly. 
So we have the uh, ever-loving Tervis Cup that people absolutely love. And most of the husbands love the hat. We also put the koozies, gotta have the white. <laughs> in there. Hopefully they uh, utilize a sticker. And then the most important thing is the thank you card. Uh, you're supposed to special, uh, personalize. Yeah. And inside of it, we have, we have a garden center, 10 free dollars to use at the garden center. So yeah. hopefully encourage them to come in and just become garden center shoppers. Get the reviews, so 10% or 15% off their next purchase at the yeah. garden center if they'll do a review for us. Well, well-run business, wonderful time with you guys, even you, Sean. Okay, this has been a blast. Michael, awesome, so fun. Jason, yep. awesome. All right, you guys be well. Ha, ha, ha.